Alright, what's left for me to do? Sergeant's appointed. One more thing dealt with. Disgruntled veteran. Wait, have I talked to you? I don't think I have talked to a disgruntled veteran. Oh, whoops. What the hell am I doing? Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, no. No, I talked to the frustrated soldier. I didn't talk to you. Yeah. Cheyenne, what are we still doing here? You weren't born to run cities. You were born to take them. Let them fall down around some other bastard's ears. Come on, what's wrong with you? And what's it to you? You get paid either way. How long are you going to keep taking Behemoth's money, Cheyenne? Until the riots kill everyone? Until the famine does? Until the Naga invasion does? Why don't we go out now and find somewhere else? Or better yet, why don't we take our payment right now out of Behemoth's scrawny fingers? I'm going to keep taking their money until Behemra is right again. Then we'll be rewarded in full. I haven't seen one sign that this city is going to get any better. Even the monsoons aren't going to bring enough food to feed the slums. Not for a long time. So what do you really think is going to happen? Uh, things aren't as bad as you think. Behemoth is an old city. Recovery is inevitable. That's it. That's what you think is going to happen? Even if that comes true, the council is going to cut us loose the second they don't need us. You're just coming up with excuses because you're scared of the riots. Yeah. You think about what I said when the slum rats come out to gnaw the flesh off your bones. You remember somebody had the guts to talk sense to you. We'll see. Alright, time to head down. Hmm, it's a noble. Cheyenne, I appear before you humbly. I am a noble, a landowner, a proud father, and a friend of any servant of this city. I have come to ask you to commit your troops to defending the Naga of the slums. Well, I actually already planned on it. Okay, I'm listening. I've had my eyes opened. I am selfish to hoard my own safety, so long kept at the expense of others, and further endanger the Naga of the slums. My human and Naga allies in the Brotherhood of Friendship are of one mind. If we are to show that we are humans, uh, that we... That we are human... What the... Hold on, I'm going to have to do some on-the-fly uh, correction of this text, because it doesn't make any sense. If we are to show that we humans are a caring and merciful people, now is the time to do it. I agree. I'll remember what you said. Then go to your work. Just remember, whatever you choose, that future generations are watching. Okay, is it time to go? I've assembled the men at the mouth of the slums as you ordered, sir. Are you ready to set out? Yes. Let's put an end to this. Yes, sir. Oh god, what's gonna happen now? Okay. Here's the person I've chosen. Bupendra. Ready to move him out, sir. <laughs> Wait a minute, you can say I quit? What the hell? Don't look at me, I'm done here, I quit. 
Uh, no. Uh, hold on. Let's talk to, let's talk to Bu... Yeah. Let's talk to Bupendra. You won't regret this, sir. I promise. I'm losing the ability to speak, apparently. I mean, is there anything more for me to do? I don't think so. Alright. Yep. Let's go out. Let's get this over with. Men form up. The men gather. Some mutter. Some chuckle. Others stare gravely ahead. They've been on their feet for a while now, and it shows. Oh god, I have to give a speech. <laughs> I have to give a big speech. Okay. <sighs> I can do this. I could just say let's skip the speech, because maybe they're tired, but then again, I maybe they need one. <laughs> what a city to die for, huh, boys? <laughs> yeah, that'll inspire confidence. Today we get to do the right thing. Do they care about doing the right thing? I think they just care about money. <sighs> Let's try it. Today's a good day, boys. Today, we get to do the right thing. The men look at each other. This wasn't what they were expecting. It's sometimes hard to know what to do in this city. Well, today, I know. They're listening, okay. Wait, VJ was going to cut your pay, I made sure that wouldn't happen. Uh... Did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, I didn't. So I guess I can lie? Um, hmm. Well, I, I don't know, because Laxmi said that she would give me, like, more... Uh, give some help to my men, correct? And I helped her out a little bit. I gave her some information, and I did something else. She should see. She suggested I didn't send people to her farm, though. I don't know if she actually supported my men with any supplies. It didn't say. So I don't actually know. I mean, it says the option is listed as caring, not as lie or anything like that. So I don't. Um... Let's just be honest. VJ gave me some orders that he had no right to give. Now, your pay's been cut. Those are the facts. Of course they don't like it. <laughs> they react as well as you'd expect. There's no explicit outrage, just grumbling and snarls. You can forget defense. All of you are headed for the slums. Oh man, okay, so I get to decide how much. Oh boy, how many people do I send to the slums? Okay, well, I, I'm pretty sure Jadeep's men are, by and large, poisoned, so I'm not expecting too much resistance on that front. But there is still rioting, so... How many do I send? I'm not going to send less than half. It's going to be either half or most or all. How many do I want to send? If I can quell the riots, then there's no need to even really defend the defensive line. Because I'd be taking care of the problem at its source. I'm going to say most. Most of you are going to the slums. A few squads will hold the line. 
Oh wow, they did not like that. The defensive party, looking tangibly relieved, stands at attention. Hmm. Okay, now what do I want them to do? So what do I want the defensive people to do? Should they just contain everything? Just contain everything. You are there to contain everything. You are a wall. Understand me? The men nod, absorbing their instruction. Oh god, this is- these are some really hard decisions. Okay. Who do I want to keep safe? Keep the merchants safe, there are cities lifeblood. No, hell no. Protect the council? No. Just be a generalist? Spread all over? Yeah, just spread all over. No playing favorites. The slums party stirs, awaiting instructions. They don't look happy about this. Alright, what are they gonna do? Go on and just say screw it to the to J Deep's m men. Consider them enemies, basically. Do I have enough resources to actually take on both, though? The rioters and his men? But a lot of them are poisoned, right? Yeah. If you see JD's boys, push them back. Don't be afraid to pick fights. We've got to do this right. You're muttering. Man, they're not too happy. I could rule by fear. If anyone disobeys, I'll kill them myself. No. Those are your orders. If you want to leave, leave now. Several men were waiting to hear this. After exchange of dissatisfaction and last goodbyes, half a dozen men throw down weapons and walk away. Well, shit. The rest of you. You'll be well compensated. I promise. Gradually, with many a glance back at you, the men move out. To who knows what fate. The hell do I do now? Now's the time to see what my messenger wants from me. Ah. Yes. Cheyenne. Laxmi has requested you return to the council chambers. She says it's an urgent tactical matter. This is suspicious. This is really fucking suspicious. I do not like this. No. No. Because now all of my men have been sent away. Yeah. Okay, she can wait. I've got business of my own to take care of. I really do think it's urgent, sir. She looked distressed. I'm still not going. I was there, sir. Everything seemed to be in order. 
I'll trust my own instincts, thanks. But, sir, where are you going? God, do I want to go to the slums? The line or the slums? I could inspire my men to fight. If your own leader won't even fight with you. How are they going to find the courage to fight? Then again, I'm probably going to die if I go into the slums. <laughs> oh god. Um, screw it, we're going. Very well, sir. I'll give you her regrets. Oh god, alright, let's read this. What, what happened? The battle is unpleasant. Kanika's soldiers are not well trained. Your men are not well protected against falling arrows. Plenty of death is spread around before the thing is over. Until Kanika's men fall into retreat. There's a ragged cheer from your men. You hear someone say that the slums have been pacified, and find your memories dragged back to that day one year ago, when Vijay gave you the same assurance. Yes. Okay, what now? Asha? Queen to be. A new trait. It is Asha's right and responsibility to rule Bahimra justly. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Wait, what am I actually doing? How... I don't quite understand. Why am I allowed here? Wait, wait, huh? I need some context on how I got here and why I'm here. Uh, hi. I thought... Ho hold on, who's Kanika? Kanika was pushed back. Who's Kanika? Yeah, your parents' former advisor, a former priestess, now the leader of a rebellious faction of violent slum dwellers. Her conviction is inescapable. Am I missing something? D didn't it say Kanika was pushed back, right? Kanika's men retreated. And Jayam's men were victorious, even though it was a hard fight. So why does it seem like we've taken over? I... what? I must have missed something. We'll talk later. First, kill VJ for me. Wait, is it that the sl the sl we won in the slums, but they have like a a strike force that they've sent to the council, and because I didn't have many people on the defensive line, they were able to get behind the defensive line. Is that what's happening? This really could have used with a little bit of this really could have, this whole thing could have used some context. Just a little thing to pop up and tell me what the hell is going on. If it pleases the Queen, I have a report on how the city fares. Don't trouble her with reports. This is her moment of triumph. She doesn't need a list of dry details. Well, let's be honest. When you're ruling, that really is what ruling comes down to. Dry details, negotiations, paperwork. Whether or not I need them, I'll hear them nonetheless. As expected, our false riots sparked a few real ones. More than a few, actually. Everyone had known the slums were just waiting for an excuse to riot, but I don't think any of us were really prepared for the spectacle once it began in earnest. We all thought Jadeep would be directing things, but we haven't even seen his boys on the streets. Nobody knows what happened to them. Someone said something like they were all stricken down by disease, but that doesn't seem likely. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I might have had something to do with that. As far as fighting in this part of the city goes, it's rough, but we're holding the guards and the mercs back. The sooner you deal with Vijay and can convince the city you're in charge, the better. 
One thing hasn't gone according to plan at all. Shyam kept hardly anything on the defensive line. He sent his men into the slums to deal with the riots directly. Exactly what all the merchants and nobles were praying he wouldn't do. Okay, so that is what happened. All right. All right, how do you think the city's going to fare tonight? We called off our riots, and J.D. wasn't around to make some of the rest worse. But his absence did draw out the street gangs. Shyam's boys have been tussling with those. Some riots did cross over his defensive line, and we're doing our best to deal with those. Our biggest problem by far has been the rioters crossing over his bare defense line. We just don't have the men to deal with them, and they've been spilling blood all over. Behemra will be a mess tomorrow. That much, I can promise. But everything will improve, won't it? You know what to do, Asha. Go to it. We'll all be waiting for you to emerge from the palace. Don't think any one of us hasn't been waiting for this day as eagerly as you, my queen. We've all been proud to serve you. Shyam is nowhere to be found. Well, I suppose he can wait. A more pressing matter awaits. He's waiting for you, you know. We sealed up all the secret tunnels from the other side. VJ's got nowhere to run, and no choice but to face you. I'm looking forward to hearing his account of all this. I wouldn't let him speak too long if I were you. There's a reason VJ got as far as he did with the people in the council. He makes lies more beautiful and persuasive than truth. Don't let his narrative complicate yours. Uncle, the man murdered my parents. How complicated can he make that? I only bring this up because today is important. You've been looking forward to this for a long time. Today is where your story of betrayal and righteous vengeance ends. Why did you have to come here? My work was finally beginning to pay off with peace, and you started citywide riots. Why? So you could get to me? So you could dig up the throne and sit on it? Are you really that confident that you can do a better job running this city than I can? Are the people rising up because of what he did? They were kind of rising up anyway, weren't they? Because of the famine. But, but, I know I can do a damn sight better job than you can. I've seen this city at its worst, at its best, and its worst. I can rule better than you can. Oh yes? Behemoth's farms have brought in about one-third of the food we need to feed everyone. The Naga merchants supply more for as long as the increasingly scarce tax revenue pays for it. We have a slum full of starving, angry people who are no good for us. How are you going to fix that? Good question. Do I even want to bother answering him right now? I'll speak with the Naga. Long-term payments for short-term help. Just until the monsoon comes. I'm sure the nobles will love that as it will mean celebrating the end of a lean period with increased taxes for the rest of their lives. 
when they refuse to pay to feed a bunch of slum rats, and many do already, by the way. How will you appease the Naga Empire? Will you cancel the deal, or will you risk war by failing to pay? The Naga Empire must realize Bohemra is worth more alive than dead. Even a bad debtor could be a good investment. I really don't care what he thinks of me. The Naga Empire is one stinking traitorous human hair away from invading us. What? Didn't you figure that out? Tell me. How much longer can they justify trading for our goods while our military dwindles and we mistreat their citizens? If we started failing our payments, that would be all the excuses they'd ever need. Well, that's the thing. We're not going to mistreat the Naga. Well, that'll be a good reason for the nobles to keep up their payments. The nobles will be kept in line by fear only so long. Then they'll decide all this was your fault, and that they're better off protecting themselves. This has happened long, long ago. It can happen again in a heartbeat. You're not telling me anything I don't already know. I'm prepared to face the consequences of failure. Every plan you've undertaken has risked the city. Assuming the riots you started don't burn the slums to the ground tomorrow, you're gonna try again by prodding the nobles? When there are no wise moves to play, you don't play at all, you wait. That's what I've been doing waiting for the rains to come and tensions to cool and opportunities to resurface. The people are tired of waiting. They want results. Now. The point I've been getting at is that whatever plans you're considering, I have or already am trying them and they're not working. Bohemra is under siege by death itself. We're not going to lift the siege with one stirring rout. And that means misery. And that means grumbling. And that means scapegoats. I sacrificed your parents to buy this city enough time for the monsoons to come back. Now you're going to sacrifice me. Because... why? Because you actually believe one man has ruined this city more than starvation has? No. No, I don't think he did ruin the city, necessarily. I don't know if you have. But as queen, I can do better. You don't know. Tell me. Why did you come in here telling me you and you alone could fix Behemoth's problems? Did you just assume it was true? That kings and queens just know how to do these things and nasty old backstabbing advisors do not? Your parents will learn that wasn't the case. I thought perhaps Behemra deserved a ruler who wasn't outright evil. Oh, yes, because I killed your parents out of a selfish desire to rule, like all great villains from stories. I've spent the past year sitting on silk r on silks, rubbing gold trinkets together and bathing in wine. Obviously, this is the case. You're a regicide, whether or not you did it for selfish reasons. You killed for politics. You don't really think killing is evil, or you wouldn't have killed to get to me. Or do the bodies of my men, who wanted nothing but to serve the city, not count? If you really are coming after me, not because you think you can rule this city better, but to make a point about the sanctity of life, you're a hypocrite. If you cut your swath to get revenge for one killing I've made, then you're a selfish monster. That's true. But you're not going to talk your way out of this, you know. It ends here. 
I'm not telling you any of this because I want your pity. I'm not stupid. I tried to kill you, and I did kill your family. I never anticipated mercy. I just didn't want you to labor under the delusion you were doing this for Behemra. And this is for your own satisfaction. Nothing more. Well... Hmm... I could just tell him to leave. I have every fucking right to kill him. Do I want to let him go? I really don't. No. No. Well, you killed my parents and gave the people a, uh, a public spectacle, uh, an event, to buy time to make them think that something had changed. All right. I think I'll buy a bit more time, then. You'll be given a public execution. However I hurt you, whatever I've done, it was all for the sake of Behemoth's people. Can you say the same? I'm proud of you, Asha. You've done much with little time and few resources. Have you been there behind me this whole time? That's weird, that option doesn't have a, uh, emotion, like, thing here. Doesn't list anything. Strange. Why do I feel like Avanash is about to stab me or something? I'm kinda creeped out here. Uh... Yeah, honestly, I don't feel like I've done much. We've all done a considerable amount, and none of it, none of it at all, would have been possible without you. Destiny chose you to walk this path. Things could not have gone differently than they did today. There's much work to be done yet, but the rightful ruler has regained the throne. Behemoth's troubles are soon to end. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You are a priestess of Banka Mundi. You are, and have been, a spy for Jalesh. You are not alone. It's difficult to believe Asha's coup was only one week ago. Jalesh, one of the Naga who's made it through all this, along with Rhea, hasn't stopped moving in that time. Perhaps he's afraid of what will happen if he does. He's needed information. Gradually. The veil between him and his many paid informants has begun to fray. Especially the good ones. The parcel's already changed hands, but he's got something else to say. Paid informant. Wasn't Asha supposed to talk to Jalesh? Yeah, after the coup, they're supposed to talk. Have they not? Oh, Queen Asha never did approve my list. Looks like some of these people are going to be here for a while. Huh. Asha really should have gotten some of these people off the street. Your latest report is worrying. It was only a matter of time before Ranvir groomed a successor. Now, even if we wanted to assassinate him, it wouldn't help. Doesn't really matter. Ranvir isn't the cause of this hatred. He's just the most visible sign. Trust me. I'm not going back into the slums. Once the Naga gangs 
We found out Jadeep's boys weren't there to keep order. I have to say... Wait. Wait, this... Hold on, this confused me. I'm not going back into the slums. Once the Naga gangs found out Jadeep's boys weren't there to keep order... What? Once the... What? It feels like an incomplete sentence. Yes, once they found out, the, then, then what? Huh. Uh, I have to say I'm disappointed. I really thought we could be better than this. Maybe there's supposed to be an ellipses? Because I see a period there and a period here. But there should be three periods for an ellipses. Or ellipsis, however it's pronounced. Anyway. Beside the point. I'm just going to keep being bleak. Nobody's better than this. If anyone did the right thing, this wouldn't have happened. Things are tense wherever you go, mind. The riots did a lot to scare the nobility. Even though, as far as I'm aware, not one noble died as a result of them. This city is tensing for another big riot. I don't know if it will happen or not, but it's tensing. I suppose it all depends on how Bohemia's fortunes fare. Keep uh, listening. It's coming time for the Naga in this city to make a decision. We've got one option we haven't exercised yet. Rhea was always threatening this city with invasion. With her, it was an empty threat. Nobody wanted to help the slum Naga, so why take the risk? But I've discovered some influential Naga in the slums, and the city is weak. I think we'd make the case for an invasion, after all. Jesus, it really is just going to happen all over again, isn't it? The ruler is just coming and going like a breeze. Blowing in and blowing out. How could I even disagree? Given that they're still in the slums. How could I even disagree? But do you really want to do it? After all we've bled and sacrificed to make this alliance work for your empire? You're gonna invade? I don't think anyone wanted an invasion. The appearance of a Naga army on the borders is going to be... bad for any of our people inside the walls. It all comes down to whether we think things are going to get better on their own. Sit by, bide your time while you're... repressed? And hope that your repressors stop? Or do you do all you can? Let's be a little bit optimistic, come on. There's hope for us yet. Give us more time. Well, I suppose that wouldn't put us in a very different position than the humans, really. Everyone in Behemra, peasant and noble, human and Naga, are fighting to see another year. More than anything, I miss the days when anything at all was simple. You want to know what I think is going to happen? Sure. I think this city is going to have a horrible, horrible year. And I think it's going to get better, or it's going to perish. But I don't think any invasion is coming to save us. 
When I went to Asha's camp, there was a feeling there, like she could do no wrong, like she would sweep in and retake the throne and all would be well again. I couldn't tell any of them otherwise even if I'd wanted to. When you get lost in a happy story, all the other details and consequences are nothing. And anything becomes possible. And now, having seen what I've seen out there, I'm torn between craving that feeling and never wanting to come near it again. Well, this certainly ain't no happy tale, that's for sure. Man. <laughs> oh, God. Well. That was a really good game. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm trying to think of whether I want to do a review and go into more detail about my thoughts. You know what? I think I do. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Yeah. I really enjoyed this game, and I... There's quite a few things I want to go into. So, I'm going to make some sort of a review type video talking about uh, my thoughts on this, going deeper into my thoughts on unrest. So, in the meantime, I just want to say I've enjoyed this very much. I hope you've enjoyed watching me play this as well. And thank you for joining me.